Hi everyone, welcome to the Essex Sport Facebook page. My name is Arlene. We're going to have a nice 30 minute slow flow yoga session for you today. If you want to grab your mat, clear your space and grab some water if you'd like and any props that you'd like to support your practice. Uh, we'll start by coming to a comfortable position, laying on the back. Just, just get comfortable, feel your body in a nice alignment so you might have your legs straight or your arms out to the side. See if you like to place your hands on your belly, if you prefer. Any tension in your back, you might like to have your knees bent. See what feels nice for today. Good. And as you come into this moment and into your breath, just notice the flow of your inhalation, where it enters. When you exhale, let your body feel heavy to so begin to relax and create space into the mat. So relax through the back of your head, your hips, your feet, your arms. Just let your body begin to sink and melt with gravity into the mat. Just take another grounding breath there here, relaxing, letting go, and feeling the space surrounding you. So it's almost like you're breathing into the back of your body. So as you exhale, you can relax and let your body feel heavy. But as you inhale, it's almost like the back of your head expands into the mat and your shoulders as well as your hips and your feet, your arms, breathe into the back of your body and let go. And just trust in the ground to support you and relax. Okay, so when you're ready, just make a little movement to reconnect with your body. You might wiggle your fingers and toes or turn your head slowly side to side. Just a slow awakening to rise. Good, and then from here, if you bring your right knee to your chest and hold your right shin, you're welcome to have your left leg straight or knee bent, see which one you prefer. Stay there for a breath, and you might bring your forehead up towards your knees as an option. Good, another breath there, relax your foot. I'll do the other side. So left knee folds to your chest, right foot on the ground or leg lengthening away. Option to bring your forehead up towards your knees. Good. And then gently relax hold of your foot take a nice full body stretch inhale like you're trying to reach your fingers to the wall behind you and your toes in the opposite direction good and then gently bend both knees hug your thighs towards your stomach hold your shins you might give a little rock here right to left or draw circles on the ceiling with your knees good then either roll to one side or just rock up from here it'll we'll come to all fours and hands and knees to set up for a nice cat and cow Hands are above the width of your shoulders, your wrists on your shoulders, knees up under your hips. About two fists between your knees. You can start with a nice exhalation of cat. For cat, so round your spine up to the ceiling, relax the back of the neck. Almost push your hands or soften your hands into the mat. As you inhale, relax your belly towards the mat. Tailbone tips up and lengthen the top of your head away from you. So move to cat and cow at your own pace, rounding your spine up for cat. Inhaling, relaxing your belly, your whole front body, like a cascade of breath from your belly up through your chest to the top of your head. So we'll do two more rounds of cat and cow and just do those at your own pace in the range that feels nice. Good, and as you complete your second round, good, come to a neutral spine and we'll practice a puppy dog pose. Um, so keep your hips above your knees, walk your hands forward, just do that at the pace that feels comfortable. So you might rest your forehead on the mat, you can reach your fingers long, breathe into your lower back, create space there and softness. Good, one more breath here, lovely. Then walk your hands back, underneath your shoulders, Good. tuck your toes, we'll set up for downward facing dog, bottom to your heels. With your next exhalation, lift your hips up. Come to that upside down V and just make that with lightness at your own pace. You might bring a little movement to that by bending one knee at a time. You can also turn your head side to side. Good. Another option, if you bend your right knee, you might soften your left heel into the mat and start to elongate on your left side by bringing your left hip back to that wall behind you and same vice versa. So it's kind of a little side stretch in your dog pose. Good. Then lift your heels off the mat, lower your heels to the ground. And we'll come to forward fold. So walk hands to feet or feet to hands. Stay in forward fold for a breath or two and just begin to soften to the ground. So check in if you'd like your knees bent to rest forearms there on your thighs or hands on your legs anywhere that's comfortable. Option to turn your head side to side and think of your upper body almost like a rag doll. It softens with the ground. 
your sitting bones begin to lengthen up towards the ceiling. Good. One more breath here. Lovely. Then gently, a little mindful bend of the knees, draw your navel in there to curl your spine, pulling up the standing head at last at your own pace. Good. When you're upright, you can bring your arms up overhead, move upper back with an option, weight to your heels, hips forward, front body soft, open. Good. And as you exhale, arms open at the side. And we'll slowly come back to that forward fold. So round your shoulders, hands on your legs, wherever they're comfortable. Good. Place your hands on the mat. Bend your knees, we'll come down to all fours on hands and knees again. Good, and just set up again that nice alignment of your wrists and your shoulders. From here, if you step your right foot forward between your hands, good, come into a little lunge. If you want more, you can slide your left knee further behind you. Hips stay square, facing forward. Start to lift your chest away from your thigh. Good, just come into it as much as feels comfortable, so you're welcome to fold up your mat if you want extra cushioning there under your knees or knees. Length top of your head lengthens up. If you want more from here, you can reach your arms up. Almost like you're trying to touch the ceiling with your fingertips, lengthening up. Good. You can feel that create space in your front body. Lovely. And then gently come down. We'll push to either all fours on hands and knees or plank pose. Just see which one's more comfortable for your body today. Good. So knee down option here. Bend your elbows. You come to lay on the mat. Slide your hands forward so your forearms are resting on the mat. Let your hips feel heavy. Then with your inhalation, gently lift your chest away from the mat. If you come up to your sphinx pose, you might come and take over with longer arms to see what feels nice. Good. One breath there. And then slowly bring your chest back to mat. Hands to the side of your chest up through all fours. Option. Knees or extended child's pose. Or you can tuck your toes and lift your hips up for down dog. Just make that your own. Breathe into your lower back. Feel your hips hinging back, creating space and length. Good. So one more breath here. Option to come down through all fours first. Step your right foot forward between your hands. Come back to that lunge position. You might have your knee down here, or you can stay up on the ball of your foot if you prefer. Good. Hips stay square forward. Start to lift your chest away from your thigh. You can place your hands there if that's preferable. Or float your arms up. You might look up at towards the ceiling. Good. One more breath here. Good, lovely. And then gently bring your hands back to the mat. Step your feet together. Return to that forward fold, wherever that's comfortable in this moment. Just feel the weight evenly throughout your feet, like your toes are spreading outwards from the center of your foot, as well as your heels. Good. One more breath here. Lovely. Relax your shoulders and your jaw and the muscles of your face. And we'll come up to standing. You want to draw forward slowly. Little curly. So you come up. Sweep your arms up overhead. A little upper back is an option. Weight to your heels, hips forward, front body soft and easy. And as you exhale, gently come back down. Back to that forward fold. Good. And then we'll step our, our right foot back for that lunge position. You can have your knee down or shorten the stance. See what feels comfortable. Knee approximately above your ankle, if that feels right for your body. Chest lifts. You can float your arms up. See if you lift your gaze upwards here. Good. Nice. Close your breath. One more breath here, feeling that open your front body. Hands back to mat, either all fours on hands and knees or plank pose. See which one you prefer. Knee down option. Elbows bend, come down towards that mat. Good, relax the tops of your feet. Sphinx or cobra, you can slide your forearms forward or sphinx. Long arms for cobra here. Keep your hands closer to the base of the ribcage if you'd like to come into that a bit deeper. Good, nice, close your breath. Lovely. And then when you're ready, relax it. Hands to the side of your chest, up through all fours. You come to extended child's pose. Flatten your heels or lift your hips up for that down dog. Nice, close your breath here. Good. One more round of breath here. Lovely. Okay. And step your left foot back forward between your hands to equestrian pose. Knee down option. You can come through all fours first if that's more comfortable. Just sit up. Um, knee approximately above ankle if that feels comfortable. Chest begins to lift. You can float your arms up overhead. You might gaze at your fingertips. Feel the front body start to open. Good. One more breath here. Hands back to mat. Step your feet together. Return to that forward fold position. You might turn your head side to side. Good. Relax through your jaw, your shoulders, and the muscles of your face. Then draw your navel inward slowly and curl your spine, coming back up to stand. Good. When you're upright, sweep your arms up overhead. Lift up your back and option. Weight to your heels, hips forward, front body soft, so lengthen. Good. Coming back upright. 
few grams out to the side. We'll set up for a chair pose. So stand with your feet about the width of your hips and parallel feet. Okay. I'll do that from the side. So inhale, lengthen the top of your head up. As you exhale, lean through the tailbone, sitting to chair. You can have your hands on your hips in front of you or overhead. Good. Just come into that as much as feels comfortable. Lovely. Then bring your hands to touch um, like in a prayer position in front of your heart space. Options to stay here. If you'd like to, you can rotate. So you're bringing your left elbow to your right thigh. Stay there if that feels nice. You might open your arms. You can do it with one arm or both arms up into a line. And just see where that's comfortable between your head. Good. Two breaths here. Lovely. Just feel that create space in your chest. Then we'll bring our hands back. Rotate to center. Another side when you're ready. So right foot to the left. Right elbow and left knee. You might open your arms up into that straight line. See where it's comfortable to look. Last breath here. Lovely. And then very slowly return. Oh, bring your hands together. Rotate back to center. Okay, we'll sweep our arms up. Sit back to that chair. So just reversing long spine. Then from here, place your hands on the mat. You can either step back to a plank pose, or if you'd like to, you can hop your feet back to a plank pose. Good. Then hinge back either to downward facing dog, or if you prefer, you can come to all fours on your hands and knees. So hips lift up. Good. Stay there for breath. Feel like your hips are reaching to that wall behind you. Then we'll start to extend our right leg straight behind us for flying dog. If you're in full, all fours, you can do the same thing. Knee towards the floor, extending your heel away. Good. Stay there for a moment, feeling that reach of your heel, pushing through your hands, lengthening your spine. Then gently bend your right knee, bring it to your navel, and look between your hands. Step your right foot forward between your hands, back to that lunge position. Good. Lovely. Let's start to lift your chest away from your thigh. If you'd like to, you can sweep your hands behind you and interlace your fingers. So you might rotate your shoulders and lengthen your knuckles away. If you prefer, you can have your hands on your hips. Just stay there for a breath. Lengthening the top of your head away from you, so on a slight diagonal. Good. One more breath here. Lovely. And gently bring your hands to the mat. Stamp your feet together. Return to that forward fold. Notice where that's comfortable in your body. You're welcome to turn your head side to side. Relax your shoulders, your jaw, and the muscles of your face. One more breath here. Lovely. Then we'll reverse it back to chair. So sweep your arms next to yours. Hinge back with that long spine. Your knees are tracking to the center of your feet. Push your feet, hinge upwards as you're pushing um, the floor away. Let off a back bend option. Notice your rib cage start to lift away from your hips. Good. And then we'll reverse to come back to that chair. Lead with your tailbone slowly down. Knees start to lengthen to towards your toes. Come into that as much as feels comfortable. Hands back to the mat. Good. Then either um, hop your feet back or step your feet back. Good. And we'll hinge back to a downward facing dog, upside down V. Um, if you prefer, you can come to all fours. Good. And left leg lifts for that flying dog. Your heels reaching along the way from you. Stay there for a breath. Make it your own. You can feel that length in your spine as the top of your head relaxes forward. The left knee bends. Knee toward your navel. Look between your hands. Step your left foot forward to that equestrian pose. Knee down option here. Start to Sweep your arms behind you, interlace your fingers, rotate your shoulders, lengthen your knuckles away, lift your chest up into the diagonal. You can do the same thing from um, with knee down, or if you prefer, hands on your hips. One more breath here. Lovely. And you gently bring your hands back to that step feet together. Return to your forward fold. Remember that comfortable option to turn your hips side to side. Relax your shoulders, your jaw, the muscles of your face. We'll reverse to our chair pose. So long spine. Sit back, bottom at a diagonal toward that imaginary chair. Push your feet to hinge upwards. Upper back and option, like your hands reach the ceiling. Your cage lifts away from your hips. Good, and exhale. Coming out to open your arms out to the side. You can give everything a little shake. And we'll prepare for a balance um, for tree pose or hand to foot pose. So you're welcome to come off of your mat. Sometimes the mat creates resistance if you're standing um, on foam or on sand. So let's just come to your mountain pose to start. Soften your feet so the weight's not forward or backwards, it's just evenly dispersed. Turn the palms of your hands to face forward. Notice how that might change your alignment. You're still stacking shoulders over hips, hips above knees, and knees above your ankles. And when you're ready, you pick one leg for your standing leg, so shift the weight over. So I'll have my left leg as the standing leg. Right knee bends, rotation from the hip there to turn the knee out to the side. Bottom of your hip touching 
my inside ankle, the inside part of my ankle, toes on the floor there. If you want more, you can slide your foot higher up. Just check in where is that comfortable. Just avoid the side of the knee itself. So hands can stay there. You might bring them to your hips in front of you, palms touching, just all options. You can come into this at your own pace. Maybe a V, maybe palms touching overhead. If you want to practice your hand to hip pose, you can start to lift your knee upwards and either wrap two fingers around your big toe with that knee um, bent, or you can hold the back of your thigh or your um, ankle, anywhere that's comfortable. And if you want to, you can start to lengthen that heel away from you. So you don't have to come all the way to Australia, just in that direction. Good, just a journey, a pathway, see where that's comfortable. Good, so one more breath here, lovely. Then when you're running, no rush, we'll slowly come out of that posture. You can bend your knee if it's extended. If you're like, bring your knee forward, relax your arms down, your legs, give everything a little shake you might. Massage out your feet or rotate your ankles inward or outward, anything that feels nice for your body. And then we'll set up to do the other leg. So come back to your mountain pose, turn the palms of your hands forward, feel that alignment, almost like the top of your head lengthens up. When you're ready, just come into that at your own pace, the other leg. So shift the weight over, this time our right leg will be the standing leg, it comes towards the center of my body, left knee bends, hip rotation to bring that out to the side. Good, see where you'd like to place that foot. Where would you like to practice? Tree pose with your arms, with the placement of your foot, or your hand to foot pose. You can use the strap here as well for that hand to foot pose. So sit up nice and tall, or stand up nice and tall. Lengthen your heel away, just at your own pace, no rush. Good, so just make that your own. You can adjust at any time to any of those options for your balance. Good, one more breath here, lovely. And when you're ready, slowly bring your knee forward, relax your arms, your legs down, you can give everything a little shake. Good, so if you stand towards the front of your mat again, good, and then step your right leg back on the ball of your foot. Sweep your arms up next to you, about shoulder width, gently bend your left knee, interlace your fingers, extend just your index finger up towards the ceiling, and if you like, you can start to reach that index finger along the way. You can do that at a diagonal, or you might come into a little upper back bend here. So if you feel tension in your back, you might prefer that slight diagonal. Good, wherever you are, just feel like you're creating space in your spine, like your rib cage lifts upwards away from your hips. Good, you're welcome to come into that deeper if that it feels appropriate for your body for this low pressure. Good, one more breath here, lovely. And then slowly relax your arms down, sweep your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, you might rotate your shoulders back, a long neck and spine, and then slowly hinge forward. So you can do that up on the ball of your foot. You're welcome to bring your heel down with your toes up to the side if it's more comfortable. Good, two breaths here. Lovely. And then gently relax your fingertips, hands to the mat. Push your feet back to the downward facing dog, upside down V. And lift your left leg up for flying dog. Step your left foot back forward between your hands. Good, arms next to your ears, reaching up. And exhale, step your feet together, back to your mountain pose. Then from here, left foot steps back onto the ball of your foot or the other leg. Good. Arms sweep up overhead. Interlace your fingers. You might do the other finger in front first. And the next finger extends. Right knee bends. If you want to come to that a little bit deeper by stepping your left foot on back further, you might rotate from your side or turn your leg out to the side. Lengthen your fingertips up. Good. Just come into that as much as you feel comfortable. Feel that growth and space in your spine as you. Feel your fingers and the top of your head lengthen away from your body. Good. One more breath here. Lovely. And then gently relax your hands down. Sweep your arms behind you. Interlace your fingers. Rotate through your shoulders. Keep that long neck and spine. Hinge forward. Bringing your upper body towards your uh, towards the floor or towards your right thigh. Just see where that's comfortable. Come into that as much as feels appropriate for you. Good. One more breath here. That's it. Lovely. And just relax your fingertips to the floor. Place your hands on the ground, shoulder width. Step your right foot back for that downward facing dog. Then lift your right leg up. Good. One more breath here. Then bend your right knee, look between your hands. Step your foot forward, your right foot forward. Back to that lunge. Good. Sweep your arms up next to your ears. Then as you exhale, step your feet together. Come back to your mountain pose. Give everything a little shake. Great. So we'll step our feet into a straddle position. You can bring your arms out to the side in a T or overhead, see which one you prefer. Inhale, lengthen the top of your head, possibly your fingertips as well, upwards. Feel that connection from tailbone to the top of your head. As you exhale, fold forward, 
So up wherever that's comfortable, you might place your hands on your hips out to the side or on the mat. And if you want to come into that deeper, you might bend your elbows to rest the top of your head and your forearms on your hands, on the ground. Good. Two more breaths here. And then they start to hinge back up, just to a half back. And bend your knees. Good. And we'll come to child's pose through all fours. You might have a wide knees child's pose if you feel any tension in your back. Bottom two, your heels. Rest there for a few breaths. You might give a little wiggle side to side. Breathe into your lower back. Relax and see what happens. Good, two more breaths here. Lovely. And slowly and curl. And if you come to sit off the bottom um, with your left leg extended in front of you and your right knee bent, if you hold on to your right shin, shin so you're lengthening the top of your head up, um, your knees towards the ceiling on both legs, possibly having your foot flexed. Now open your right knee out to the side so you can rest the sole of your foot inside your leg, almost like a tree pose. But feel your, your square with your hips. Good. Inhale your arms up overhead. Connect to your sitting bones. And as you exhale, fold through your hips. Upper air that is comfortable. You can rest your hands on the ground, on your leg, or you might even interlace your fingers to have the palm of your hand touch the sole of your foot. So just come into that as much as feels comfortable. Think about the top of your head lengthening forward, your tailbone, reaching for that wall behind you. Breathe into your lower back here. Just creating space and length. Good, then we'll sweep the arms up. Good, bring your right knee upright. Good, rotate so your belly is towards your right thigh. Then bring your left arm in front, right hand behind. Stay there, you might look over your shoulder. If you want more, you can bend your left elbow and place that on the outside edge of your left knee. Nice little rotation here. Just stay there. Breathe into your side body, your lower back. Good. Two more breaths here. Just one. Breathe out a bit if that feels more comfortable. Lovely. And when you're ready, slowly rotate forward. Good. Extend both legs. Connect to your sitting bones. Have a long spine. You might bend your knees to find that. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Just upper arm that's comfortable. Your hands, your hands rest on your legs or towards your feet or the floor itself. Long neck and spine. Look at the top of your head. Reaches forward. Tailbone lengthening that wall behind you. One more round of breath here. Lovely. And very slowly reach your fingers long to hinge up. Good. Open your arms off to the side. This one, right leg so stays straight. Left knee bends. Hold your shin. Step up nice and tall. Connect to your sitting bones. Open that knee out to the side. Rest the sole of your foot inside your right leg. Right leg straight from your hip space. Inhale. Lengthen up. Connect to your sitting bones. Exhale. Hinge forward. Then rest your hands on your floor, on your leg, anywhere that's comfortable. Top of the head grows. So it's still position. You can feel your tailbone lengthening to that wall behind you. Two more breaths here. arms long, hinge back up. Good, bring that left knee upright, rotate so your belly's towards that, that left knee, right hand in front, left hand behind, stay here, you might look over your shoulder, you might bend that right elbow, and bring that onto the outside edge of your left knee. Just stay where that's comfortable, nice long spine. Straighten both legs, connect through your sitting bones, long spine, so you might bend your knees to find that. Reach your fingertips up. Exhale, hinging forward. Just come to that forward fold again. Feel the flow of your breath long in the body, creating space and ease. Good. One more breath here. Lovely. And slowly uncurl. You can come to lay on your back with your knees bent. Good. And from here, just slowly bring your right foot away from the floor, or one foot, hug that thigh towards your stomach. Relax your hips, your shoulders, the back of your head, even into the mat. Flex your foot, lengthen your heel away from you wherever that's comfortable. You can support the back of your leg with your, at your thighs, with your hands, or onto your shin, or even onto your ankle or your toes. Good. Relax through your back body. Good. One more breath here. Lovely. Then gently bend that knee, knee out to the side, rest your ankle on the opposite side. You might have your arms out to the side a little. Little rock right to left. Little massage there for the lower back, your hip space. Check in how that feels on your body and the range that feels nice. So you don't have to come all the way to the floor just so that feels comfortable. And then back to center. Place that right foot on the floor. 
So we'll lift the left foot, hug the left thigh to your stomach, hold your shin, relax your back body, flex that foot. Left heel lengthens away. See where you'd like to support that leg. Good, stay there. Relax through your back body. Mind the back heel, the knee bends. Open it out to the side. Ankle resting on your right thigh. Arms open out to the side, and you can start to have that little rock right to left. Feel the weight transfer from the outside edge of your foot to the inside edge. Good. Back to center. Good. And back to so reclined cobbler's pose or super bhadrasana. Place your feet next to each other. Butterfly your knees open. Soles of your feet touch. You can see where you'd like to place your hands on the belly, up to the thigh, or pad. Any tension in your lower back, you can do that same move um, with your feet elevated before butterflying your knees open and having the soles of your feet touch. You just see which one you prefer. Good. And just stay there for a few breaths. You might feel like the top of your head rolls upwards and your sitting bones relax into the mat. And though it's a still posture, just noticing that length and space you create in your spine. Good one, we're back here. Love it. And slowly bring your knees back towards each other. Lift your feet off the floor. Hold your shins. Keep your knees bent. Open your knees out to the side. Flex your feet, foot, your feet, then lengthen your heels away. You can support the backs of your legs with your hands near your thighs or your shins. You can hold onto your toes wherever that's comfortable. And just a nice little reclined inner leg stretch. Good. So you can do that with bent knees. Just see what feels right for you. And if you want to start to lengthen your heels away, just as much as feels right for your body in this moment. Good. So one more breath here. Lovely. And then gently bend your knees. Place your left foot on the floor. Hug your right thigh or shin. And then start to draw your right leg across your body. So your right arm opens out to the side. The right leg comes across your body. Just as much as feels comfortable. To a place where you can um, hold that rotation comfortably. Left leg can stay as it is, or if you want more, you can straighten that onto the ground. If you want more, you can also straighten your right leg and even hold onto your right toes with your right hand. Okay. Then gently come back to center. So bend your knees, roll into your back. We'll start with the knees bent, both knees over to the other side. Stay if that's comfortable. You might straighten your lower leg onto the ground. You might straighten your upper leg. You can even hold onto your toes with your other hand. Just breathe there into your lower back. Relax. And when you're ready, slowly bend your knees, roll onto your back, take any movement that feels nice. You might do a little full body stretch, windshield wipe your knees side to side. Good, and just come to find now a comfortable position to relax for a few moments. Either legs straight or knees bent. And just rest through your back body. And feel the flow of your breath. Notice where it enters. And when you exhale, notice where the air releases. You might start to think of your breath like waves of calm that fill you, every cell with peace. And as you exhale, let go, sink deeper into the mat. Feel your breath, the flow of your breath, like a current to life force that brings calm, peace, health, energy into your body. And as you exhale, let go, let your face relax, the back of your head soften, your shoulders, your arms, your hips your legs, your knees, your feet, relax. And just feel the flow of your breath, the power to relax your body, to let go, to create space and being. You're welcome to stay longer here and enjoy a nice relaxation, but I'll leave you here now. Thank you for practicing.